Hi guys! Today I would like to share with you on how to rig a car with Cinema 4DS24. Let's get started. First, go to Character tab and choose Character. Go under Character Attribute, change current template to Car Rig. Under Components, click Master and Car Main button. Next, we need to adjust the car rig to match our car model size. Simply select Master Comp Object, and go under the Attribute and select Adjust tab. Now it's showing the adjustment points. From here we can adjust it based on our car model size. Start with Master Comp Point. Move the point to the center of the rear car wheel. Here I hide the right side tire object to get clean view from here. Let's enable Snap. And activate Vertex. Edge. And Grid Snap. Move the master comp point to the center pivot point of this rear wheel. Then you need to move the point to the ground level. Next, let's adjust front axle point. Move axle point to the center pivot point of front wheel. Then, let's adjust the rear axle point. Move the point to the center pivot point of rear wheel. Let's adjust front tilt point. Move the point to the center pivot point of this front wheel. Then, drag the point to the ground level. Next, let's adjust left tilt point. Place this point at the corner of the wheel from front view side. Same goes to right left tilt point. Place this point at the corner of the wheel. Continue with chassis point. First, you need to make sure the point is at middle from the top view. Then I would like to position it at the center of the car from side view. And now, next point to adjust is steering column point. Place the steering wheel just around here. Here I would like to place the controller point at the middle of the car. Continue with front wheel well bind point. Place it at the axis of the suspension from the front view. Set it also at the center of pivot point of the car wheel from side view. Repeat the same process for rear wheel well bind point. Let's adjust front wheel bind point. Position it at center of the tire from front view. Repeat the same process for rear wheel bind point. Continue with front wheel target radius. Place it at center of tire from front view. Make sure it's same level from the ground floor. Follow the same step for rear wheel target radius. Here I just hide the tire for the moment to get better view to position the selected point. Now we done for the point setup. Let's check our controller rig. Select master comp layer. Under adjust tab. Change components to controllers. Here you can see the controller rig, and from this controller we can make final adjustment before we bind our rig with the car model. Let's adjust master point by hit 7 and move it. It is to make sure the child point did not follow the master point movement. Let's start binding our car with the rig. From object tab then we move to display tab. Draw spline. Draw spline. Draw spline. Let's undock this panel. From this new panel, let's navigate the bind objects. Here you'll find bind group with the bones object under it. Select the bind group and under view menu. And select set as root. With this setup, make easier for us to bind the rig system with our car. Here you can see my car objects being arranged properly. Select all the car objects and right click on it. Go to Rigging Tags and apply Constraint Tag. Let's set the Constraint Tag to Parent. Go under Parent tab and we're ready for binding process. Let's bind body object with chassis by drag the chassis bind object to target. Parent right front tire with right front wheel roll bind. Parent front right clipper with right front wheel bind. Parent front left tire with left front wheel roll bind. 
Parent front left clipper with left front wheel bind. Parent rear left tire with left rear wheel roll bind. Parent rear left clipper with left rear wheel bind. Parent rear right tire with right rear wheel roll bind. Parent rear right clipper with right rear wheel bind. Setup priority expression. Select all constraint. Under basic tab, set the right amount to get proper order. For this case, we set to 100. This is because expression amount for root constraint is set to 65. We need to set greater amount from this number to get proper priority order. Let's change our object manager from full hierarchy to components. We ready to test our rigging setup. For this rig, you can set up for chassis vibration too. Select car main object and go under controls tab and you'll find the setting attribute. Let's start animate our car. First we need to draw spline. Next. Select Master Comp Object. Under the Attribute. Drag the Spline Object to Spline Path. I need to change our intermediate points from Adaptive to Uniform for our Spline. Let's increase the value number to 50. This will make our Spline curve become more smoother. Go to frame 0 and set keyframe for position at 0%. And then go to frame 300. And set keyframe position at 99%. Now you can see the car move follow the spline perfectly. To set up camera follow the car is very simple. Go back to character object and go under display tab. Change Object Manager from Component to Full Hierarchy. Then you need to create a new camera. You need to put the camera object under Master Con Plus Object. Let's change back our Object Manager from Full Hierarchy to Component. Now you can see our camera is following the car movement. Perfect. Let's animate our car along terrain surface. First, let's create a landscape. And we need to adjust the size and the height of the surface. Next. Dot you need to set the object editable by hit C for shortcut. Then. Go under Master Comp Attribute. Go to Controls tab and you will find Collision Mesh. Let's apply Landscape Object to here. Now our car rigging is fully function. Alright guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned some cool techniques from this video. And as always be sure to check out other tutorials in my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get latest update from me. And we will see you next time.